Despite still in beta, CCS for macOS is becoming more and more featured by the day. For example, you have uh, on the App Center more and more applications and, 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 and software packages to start your development. Uh, in this case, for instance, TIR TOS from MSP432, any other products that you install from here are actually show up automatically on uh, the, the, the fully featured uh, resource explorer to browse for examples and etc. However, at this point, one of the products that is not yet available on App Center is the MSP Wear. Despite it has a version for macOS, uh, it was yet not integrated to the App Center servers. Therefore, to do this, you can go simply to a web browser and browse to this directory, to this URL, and once you get the software, you can download a standalone version of it. If you scroll down, you can actually download it straight from, uh, from a direct link, which is uh, super hand handy. In this case, once you download, you download a, uh, a setup program that you can run. And the trick to make it uh, automatically uh, recognized by uh, CCS is, to, is to, do, to choose the install directory carefully. Once you run the setup, you can, you can simply go and read the agreement and accept it. And then choose the directory that actually removing MSP from its its tail. So you actually you end up with application slash GI or basically application slash whatever you installed your CCS. Once you finish the install, you actually you will do the following. You actually show it nicely under the TI directory and with the name of the product. This actually will be uh, automatically picked up by the uh, by the package discovery once you reinstall CCS. Uh, sorry, when you once you restart CCS. For example, in this case, I just installed MSPware uh, before the video was out, and actually at this point, the uh, the the product discovery will find out the installation for me. What is the benefit of it? Is that once that it actually gets picked up, you obviously install, uh, re restart it, and then the example code will nicely be shown on the TI Resource Explorer without any uh, additional steps. In this case, you have now access to all the all the example code and information. Always keep in mind that if you still want to install it in a different directory, you can always use from the Resource Explorer the Add button and then browse to the directory you want uh, add the uh, the uh, that you actually installed the the software package. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.